quick before I start, I just want to say uh, how much I appreciate Lewis. I was there from day one, like he said. If y'all don't know, this started at Barnes & Noble in South Jersey in Defford with like 20 chairs. So the fact that it's in Houston now and in the Bronx and like three Philly shows, Miami, a Camden show, that's, that's, that's major. And that's like show you a hard work and drive a do, like for whatever you want. This joint is old, like I ain't, whew. I actually never did this either. Man, fuck your poem about uplifting your community. You, pro, you poets inspect, mm. man, fuck your poem about uplifting your community. You poets impressed with your spectacular vernacular but don't know the definition of unity. You assume because you bless the stage, you're automatically interested in the deep and face no scrutiny. I see right through your bullshit. I'm no preacher, so consider this no pulpit. I just don't like when people try to pull shit. <laughs> let's uplift this and let's uplift that. But when the volunteers is volunteering, where you'll uplift that? I bet, get, I bet if you get a call from a few hoes, you will uplift that. <laughs> How could you get up here and act like you give a damn when you never lend a hand? You just talking. You ain't really doing shit. And as far as I'm concerned, you're worse than rappers who only talk about popping bottles and fucking models because at least they really doing it. I go the extra mile to avoid anything you've ever heard. I take pride in every word. That's why it takes me so long to compose a poem. Voices and power is my circle. Anybody else, I don't bra them if I don't know them. So you read Malcolm X and you got a handmade chain with Africa around your neck. What respects am I supposed to pay to you? Am I supposed to move aside and make way for you? Tell an African from Africa that you're African-American and watch what they say to you. Watch how he play you. You so pro-black because you wear your hair nappy with peas, my nigga, please. <laughs> Calling women queens because you praise Cleopatra. Cleopatra of the Ptolemy family who held from Greece, didn't speak Egyptian and forced her subject to speak Greek, left her kingdom for Caesar who basically married her to control more land because 300,000 more slaves is 600,000 more hands. So greasy. And you need to read up on Egypt if you don't believe me and check out Queen Nefertiti. Black people rise, black people rise. Actions eat louder than words. What are you feeding my eyes? When they tweet light versus dark, nigga, you took sides. I guess you get to pick and choose when you want to divide. Subdividing the subdivided, segregating the segregated, while white people chilling, tasting wine we ain't never tasted. And every time there's a problem, I see you marching for your rights. But for every action, there's a reaction. Being proactive could have ceased this from happening. So the problems might have never started, right? Or maybe you just like the spotlight. Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson ass niggas. 